Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. We're talking more barbecue sides today. I've got another one I want to share with you. This is kind of my go-to recipe for barbecue baked beans. You know I'm going to do them out on the smoker, get some smoke in them. And this is a real easy recipe that I just like to take a, a store-bought bean that you can find in any store and kick it up, add some flavors, some fresh vegetables, some of our barbecue sauce and rub. Uh, we're going to add a little Worcestershire sauce. Get it out on the smoker and let it cook. It's that simple. This is something that you know you can prep ahead, take to wherever you're having a barbecue, get it in a pan, put it on the smoker, and then just leave it. Forget about it. Go to cooking the meat. When you come back two or three hours later, those beans will be done. That's how we do it all the time, even when I'm at the house. We're doing beans this way. It's quick and it's easy. Let's get started and show you how I put these together. Now, since I'm cooking it out on my barbecue pit, I want to use um, you know a container that can go in the grill. A lot of times if we're at a contest, I may be using uh, just an aluminum pan like you can get at Sam's or anywhere, but to, at home or if I'm going to a party or something, I like to use my cast iron pot. It's just real easy, has a lid that goes on it, makes cooking it easy and clean up simple on them. We're going to just start with some Bush's Original Beans. I mean, I've tried all kinds of beans and hey, if you like to put different beans in there, that's fine, go ahead. But I found that this original recipe, Bush's Beans, are hard to beat and you can get them just about everywhere. There's all different flavors. I just stick with the original re secret recipe. But I'm just using two cans of these Bush's beans. They'll feed about a dozen people. But if you noticed, I've drained off all that liquid off those beans because we're gonna be adding some sauce to it, a little hot sauce, Worcestershire, mustard, things that have liquid. We don't want them to turn into bean soup. I want it to be nice and thick and really, you know, let that bean uh, cook out some of that moisture that's in it and thicken up a little so you don't want them real runny. We've got our beans in, we're going to talk about our vegetables we're going to put in. Uh, red onion, diced pretty fine, uh, half a large, add that to the pot. Then I've got our red bell pepper, diced fine, you can use green, yellow, whatever you like, I just like the red and the beans. Then I've got one clove of garlic. Let's just give it a quick mix to get these vegetables incorporated with the beans. Then we're going to add some sweetness. I've got three quarters of a cup packed firm of brown sugar, and I'm going to add a cup of my barbecue sauce. And the thing about beans is, you know, I'm giving you the recipe here, but you can just kind of eyeball it. I always like to taste them right before I put them on the smoker. I wonder if I know if I have the flavors right. I mean, everything's pretty much cooked except the vegetables. They're not going to hurt you. I'm going to add a tablespoon of Worcestershire and start getting it mixed up. Then we need about a tablespoon of hot sauce. Use your favorite kind. I'm a Frank's man. Tablespoon of just regular yellow mustard. Mixing as we go. Now we're gonna season. I'm just adding my barbecue rub. You want about a tablespoon. If you're stuck on measuring. And then I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, that AP. And last but not least, I have some leftover barbecue from the last time I cooked. Vacuum sealed, froze it, and thaw it out. It goes great in beans. If you're looking for the way I repurpose some leftover pulled pork, beans makes an excellent choice. It doesn't matter if it's in big chunks, it's gonna cook down. You talk about flavor a pot of beans. It's gonna add that smokiness. All that uh, time you spent slow cooking that pork butt, it's gonna pay off when you add it into these beans and get them out there on the smoker and bring them up to town. So that's incorporated pretty good. All we have to do is go outside, get the smoker fired up, and get these beans on it. Now I know that it's not doesn't look very soupy and that's exactly the way I want it because all this vegetables, the beans, it's gonna make a lot of moisture in there and it's gonna be really juicy. So if we hadn't strained those beans, it would have been like soup now and then it just builds way too much juice. You want it to be thick when you first put it on, let the heat get on it, let some of that smoke get on it. It's gonna make some more juice. We're gonna cook it for about three hours. So an hour and a half uncovered then we're gonna put a lid on it, really let it finish off, and then they'll be ready to eat. Beans are super simple. We're gonna go outside, get the cooker fired up, and show you how we do it. All right, we got the beans on the pit. The smoker's up to about 250 degrees. You know, there's nothing to this. We're just gonna close the lid. We want them to cook about three hours at this temperature. If you're cooking at a higher temp, they'll be done a little bit faster. So, if you, you know, beans are perfect to cook right along with other meats. You can just put them over in the backside of a smoker where you've got extra room, just let them sit there and cook for two or three hours. Nothing to it, it's simple, but they're gonna be delicious because we've added that meat and a good barbecue sauce and rub. Be done here in a little bit. We're gonna let these cook about an hour and a half, then we're gonna cover them up, another hour and a half, they'll be ready to eat. 
stick around. All right, it's about an hour and a half into these beans. I just want to come out here and give them a stir. You see it's loosened up a lot. We got a little juice going on. Smoke's getting in there. I'm going to go ahead and get the lid on at this point so we can really get these vegetables tender. We don't lose any of that liquid. Looking good. Nothing to these beans. Just get them on here and let them cook. Lid on. Another hour and a half. We'll be ready to eat. All right, these beans have been on for just a little over three hours. I know they're done. So they're bubbling. Held all that moisture in there once we put that lid on it. That's what you want to see, man. You just want some, keep them nice and simmering. That pork started to break up. Man, that's the best part right there. But this is it. This is all there is to baked beans. I and mean, you saw how simple it was to put together. I'll have to get them a try, you know that. You know it's gonna be hot. Mmm. Beans are tender, those vegetables have gotten soft, got great barbecue flavor. You get that smokiness from the grill and from that pulled pork that we added in there. It's just another layer of flavors in them. You can't get any easier than this doing beans. Just get them on the pit, leave them uncovered for about an hour and a half, cover them up, let them sit there and simmer. You can go on and do other things, cook whatever else you got going on, come back to the beans later. They're ready to go to the table and serve just like that. It's another easy side that you can add to your barbecues. We're going to do a few more of these this year, so just keep an eye out on the YouTube channel. Subscribe. We're going to put some more videos out all year long, so hit us up on Facebook and Twitter as always. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.